Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with uh, employees. So in the previous video we worked with uh, cities, departments and states. In this video I'm going to work with employees. So let's go in the... Here when we have our notes and for the employees we have a list of employees with search and filter by name and department and the create update and delete so we need a search and also we need a filter by name and department first let's work with the uh, uh, form so in the vs code i'm going to open the state resource and i'm going to copy this card we have in our form here and paste it in the employee resource inside the form paste that in uh, we need to import the card so the filament forms components card we need to import the select and also the text input now for the employees we need the department id city state and country id okay so we have the country let's copy the country And if I go here to the form builder, select so why I have this comma here, I don't know. So let's copy this one and uh, paste down there, change the country to be state. Okay, another one for the city. And one more for the department. So let's paste the department here. Okay, next we need the first name. And you know what, I'm going to add also the to be required all because we don't make any of them uh, nullable so let's say required here and we can do the same thing in other forms and here I'm going to say required and let's copy duplicate change the first name to be last name okay let's copy and add the address here next one what we need let's go in the notes address we need the zip code birth date and date hired so i'm going to paste again this address and change the zip code now for the date let's go in our filament package and let's see in the form builder we have a date time picker and here it is date picker so let's copy that Paste it here, import the date picker and say make a birth date first. So birth date and is going to be required. Okay, and let's copy and duplicate that and change the date hired. Okay, uh, if I save and let's go and see what we have in our project okay here it is the project now let's see if we can create the project let's select united kingdom manchester manchester react.js test user test user address 
zip code. And I'm going to say 2000 here. And date hired today. Okay, let's say create. And we have created that. Let's go back. We have one record, but we don't show because we don't work in the table yet. So let's create another one and after create the table. Okay. So I'm going to say Vue.js, JS, address, birth date is going to be some random date and on the free day, create, go here. Now we have two records. Let's go and work with the table. Now, first, let's see what we can uh, display here in the employees. I'm going to display the first name, the last name. I'm going to display the, because we have here the filter by name and the department, I'm going to add also the department name and the date hired. So first name, last name, ID, department, and date hired, and also the created at. Okay, let's go in the state resource and copy what we have in the table here. And go to the employee resource and paste in the table. Import the text column. Now we need the ID, we need the first name. And it's going to be sortable and searchable. Okay. Let's copy that and duplicate and change this to be last name. And the last name is going to be searchable. Now, instead of country name, I'm going to display the department, department name. The created that is going to be date time. And also let's uh, copy this and change to the date hired but this is not going to be date time just date I need yeah we have only date and let's save it and let's see what we have in our project refresh okay now here it is the And as you can see, if I select all, we have this ability to delete, delete all. And let's go and see if I can delete them. Let's change the first name to be test first. And let's say save. Okay. And yeah, we have test first here. And now when I update, I want to go to the employee list. Okay, this is one fix we need. We need also to add filter. So if I go in the employee management, we can see we need to filter by name and department. So if I go here, and let's go in the table builder. We need filters. When we have filters here. And here we have filters, okay. And we can say filter make is featured. Also, yeah, here we have the select pick filter make for the relationship and let's copy that and let's go in our filter here paste that in we need to import the select filter and make for the department now the relationship is department 
and we need to display the name. Now, if I save this and go to the browser, refresh, we have this filter here and right now we have all, but if I select only React.js, yeah, we display only React Vue.js, only the Vue.js, and we have here the reset filters, and it's going to reset the filter. Now, here we have also filter by name, but we can filter by name. We have the search here by name, and we have also the sort by name, so it's not necessary to add a filter by name here. Maybe filter the department and the name of the department. I don't know. So that's it for the employees. But as I said, we need to fix this to show when you click here, United States, show only the state belong to the United States. Okay, to this country. The same thing for the city. So see you in the next one, friends. And don't forget, if you like a content like this, like the video, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.